So welcome again. Uh, we're gonna have a look at how to uh, access the card date we have here in the spreadsheet in a more um, easily accessible way than we have uh, right now. Right now we have an array of arrays, uh, which all the with all the properties uh, listed in this spreadsheet. Uh, when doing some more uh, coding with these cards, I'm only gonna use a few of these properties, card properties and which will be say the color of the card uh, the mana cost of the cards the name of the card well and a few others uh, so we're going to pick out these values and store them in something called an object uh, create an object for each card that makes it easier to access uh, each particular value so i am going to first just list the columns that i'm going to read uh, content from and i'm going to uh, do this by creating a uh, an object a javascript object let uh, card columns equal and objects are a bit like arrays you ha you can have many values in them and you can also have stuff that are not only values but other kind of interesting things um, but they are not arrays and instead in, in arrays you have well uh, the items are listed 0 1 2 3 and so on in objects you can have any name you want on them they're, they're called properties i think in, in objects and they are not denoted by um, square brackets but by curly brackets so card columns uh, i'm gonna and this this will be confusing. Sorry, I'm going to type some things and then I'm going to explain what, what I'm doing. So we're going to, uh, column number one, that will be the uh, color ident, uh, the color, I'm going to say color colon one. Actually, let's do this for zero because we're going to, we have these in, in an array. So I'm starting with zero here. So I'm going to pick this one. I call it this color and I give it uh, the number zero. Let's actually stop here and just look at what this object is. So debug. We now have a variable here called uh, card columns, which is an object. It has one value, which is zero. Compare that to uh, the card data, which is not yet uh, populated card data which has a lot of values uh, with only numeric ind indexes indices okay color that is uh, column zero uh, mana cost that is zero one let's actually add a column here a row here zero one and so on Mana cost is color uh, column five, so cost is column five. Name is column seven. Uh, type is column ten. Power is fourteen, and tough this is column 15. Okay, so I'm now creating an object with all this stuff in it. I'm going to show you why I uh, added these on separate lines uh, in a minute. Card columns now have all these values in it, and we can access them in a similar way to how we access values in arrays. Not exactly the same way, but almost. Uh, I could have written this as we do with arrays. Line breaks in general do not matter when coding, at least in JavaScript. So I could have written it in this way, which is fine. Let's just see that it works fine. You've seen this uh, used in arrays before, works fine. But the readability um, becomes, well, is harmed in this way. So I prefer when I have more than a few values, I like to have one value on each line like this. I can add a comma after the uh, last line as well, and I 
uh, like to do it because it makes it easier to add a new line here uh, whenever I want to. It should be commas between every line. Okay, so we have an object that uh, contains all the columns I want to fetch data from, and I have the name of the columns. Then I get all the data uh, in a big array, a big table, array of arrays. Now I'm going to loop through these uh, this uh, card data stuff, and I'm going to do it like this. So uh, for every um, index value in the card data, uh, for var i in card data, do something. Uh, and now we have uh, for every line this is this means for every line in this uh, table of stuff i want to do something i want to pick out the values in certain columns i'm going to do let's see card uh, let cards equal an empty array i'm going to add cards to this array uh, let card equal an empty object and then for uh, this was supposed to be like that instead another index j in card columns do something okay so for every line i loop through this list of card columns and i'm going to say that card uh, i'm going to add stuff to this card thing this j, index j, will have the values color, cost, name, type, power, toughness when looping through this. So card color, I'm going to assign the value of card data. The line in the card data we're currently looking at. And the column that is card columns j. So the color will pick a data from uh, column zero. Uh, power will pick uh, uh, data from column 14 and so on. <clears throat> when the card has been built, I'm going to add it to the list of cards. Cards push card. All right. Let's run this. Uh, let me run this one. Debug. So we now have Instead of, well, we have this array of, of cards, but we also have this array of card objects. And object zero now has color. Uh, this was bad. Uh, why is this? Uh, because, because I now started this line. <clears throat> okay, let's change that soon. So. The plus two mace has a color, it has cost, it has uh, a type, it has no power and has no toughness. That makes sense. All right, and now see, I have to either remove this line or I have to change the data range. I'm gonna change the data range, move it up by one. And so on. And you can see that this is actually much easier to read uh, and uh, hopefully to use later on in, in the, the script <clears throat> because I can then directly access or see uh, I want to get the type of the card or the name of the card. I don't have to remember that this is column 7 or 10 or something. Okay, uh, that will be it for this video. It's already long enough. <clears throat> the thing we've seen so far, the very important thing is uh, objects in JavaScript. Uh, similar to arrays but you use curly brackets and you have uh, instead of uh, automatically automatically numbered uh, values uh, you, or entries you can uh, put names on them instead uh, you can look through them just as you do with arrays and uh, we have used this to create a pretty nice list of cards that we'll uh, look closer at in the next video see you there bye